Hey Slayers, I'm the World School of Sega Enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and I have to record this or re-record this because I messed up the voiceover, that's why I don't like doing voiceovers. Um, yeah, but uh, welcome to Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on the Pal Kitty X ATNS. These videos are gonna this video I'm gonna be start doing I'm gonna start doing more and more of these uh these gameplay videos for y'all. So I thought I'd start with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 just to show you guys how the games run. Uh, I'm doing the Dreamcast version, so I'm going to be doing the GameCube versions of each of these games in the future, and they most likely won't have commentary. I'm going to be pumping out more of these videos because, um, you know, I know a lot of people like, uh, you know, the Power X XVT NES. I know a lot of people like Sonic. The two of them together should do pretty well on the channel. I'm going to be doing all types of videos. I'm, not, I'm The rule does not, the golden rule does not apply to Power Kitty videos as they're videos of a handheld console. So I'm going to be doing uh, Super Mario Sunshine, Galaxy, all those other games, you know what I'm saying, that more people want to see. Um, so I'm also, I also want to give you a warning because half of this video is going to have commentary, the other half is not, because I feel like I don't need commentary to show you everything on how the game runs, I'm just kind of trying to show you some of how these games run, so I thought I'd explain the rules of how these, how this is going to run, you know what the I'm saying, so, for you know, like I said, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are both going to run very well in these videos, so... I'll just explain the Sonic Adventure 1 part and then I'll let you watch Sonic Adventure 2 for yourself and you can make your own rules. Uh, by the way, for anyone interested, because like I said, I've said this in the past, I think the Pal Kitty X18S is a perfect system for anyone who loves emulation or Android gaming in general. So if you can play big games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, all that on uh, mobile, the Pal Kitty X18S is perfect for you. If you play games on, uh, if you play emulated games on mobile and you know, you emulators and things like that retro gaming the pal kitty x18s is perfect for you uh if you're a content creator and you and you game on android if you're a content creator and you do mobile games and uh you know minecraft and all that type of stuff and you do it on mobile get yourself a pal kitty x18s i'm telling you it's so worth it you get all this powerful uh, all this powerful um this power and this tiny little box that's just like a 3ds it's actually bigger than 3ds the screen is 16 by 9 it's a beautiful nice screen to look at it's like it's an amazing screen to look at i'm telling you like I, all this oh uh, by the way all the footage you're seeing and all of the actual um not the not the voiceover because i'm actually voicing this over in my on my pc but all the game footage and audio you're seeing um the game audio so the actual like music from the game and stuff that's all being recorded directly through the pal kitty system itself while i'm recording this uh voiceover in, in my editor obviously later on so all the game audio you're hearing, that's the, that's literally the game that's coming directly from the system. It has a built-in recorder, internal, uh, you can record internal audio and your microphone, just your microphone or just the internal audio. It's it's a great value system, I'm telling you. I'll leave a link to buy it down in the description below. Also, if you're interested in Palgity videos I've already done, I'll catch you up because I'll, I'll, I'll upload the unboxing video. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing video. I'll put uh, the, there'll be a playlist in the comments section, pinned comment below, uh, along with the link to buy the system, where I have a playlist with all the episodes so far, so you know, so you can catch up with everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be pumping more of these out. I'm gonna be pumping a few out this week, most without commentary, because after this one, you really don't need commentary to know what I'm doing. I'm, I've done Sonic and Lee, Sonic Colors. You know, I'm gonna be doing more Daytona. I wanna do Daytona on Saturn and. Uh, both Daytona's on Saturday, I want to do the one on Dreamcast, so, you know, I'm going to be pumping out more, more and more content, you know, more GameCube, uh, like I said, I want to do Super Mario Sunshine, the main reason I want to do it is because when I was looking for the Pal Kitty X18S content, originally when I was trying to buy one, and I was thinking about should I buy one, and trying to see the power of the system, there weren't any videos on games I wanted to see, right, so like really, I wanted to see Super Mario Sunshine, there wasn't a full dedicated play, playing some Super Mario Sunshine, so I could see how it would run on the system, because I was super interested in, Super Mario Sunshine is a great benchmark for GameCube, because like I said before, I have both a backwards compatibility Wii, backwards compatible Wii and a GameCube, and I feel Super Mario Sunshine runs a little worse on the Wii, it could just be me, but I've always felt it did, so, I felt it just feels just that little bit choppier and a little less responsive than it does on the GameCube. Again, it could all be in my head, but that's just me. Maybe it's a way to just try to validate me using my GameCube over the Wii. I, I don't know. But I, um... I, I, I've just always felt it ran a little choppier, so I think that's a great benchmark. I'm going to do a video on that. I'm going to show you guys what Super Mario Galaxy looks like on here. But that one is interesting because it doesn't run, uh, it's not really playable, but it, it, well, it is kind of playable, but it, it doesn't run like the best. But maybe if you truly sat down and played around with a lot of the settings, you can get most of the stuff to run. I'm going to be doing some on Wario games, and so you can see how that runs. And 
a lot more I'm going to be posting this week. I plan to record another one today and actually upload it tomorrow. Because I'm going to be uploading one today, most likely tomorrow. I, I'm probably every day this week. This is the only one that's going to have commentary, so that's why they're easy to put out if they don't have commentary. So I'm pro I might put out two today, to be honest with you. I want to get. I'm going to start posting a lot more of these Power Kitty videos. They're going to fill in for my major content because content might get a little scarce, like I said, coming this month. So I want to. I want to help pad it out because these are easy to record, fast to record. They don't require commentary. So I'm going to be uploading a lot more of these videos. And recommending you check out the playlist but um yeah so uh that was uh, emerald coast you can see it ran at completely 60 fps and like i said if sonic adventure 2 runs sonic adventure 1 will run because back in the day i used to have raycast on my very trash phone and you had to set up a bios and all that it was it was very painful but i could always get sonic adventure 2 to run at like 45 fps and really run good if i used the power version whereas i could not get sa1 to run at all so i always felt sa1 was harder to run than sa2 so if you get SA1 working, pretty much SA2 is guaranteed to work, and it's it's gonna run just fine, no problem. All Dreamcast games pretty much run just fine. I'm just making these videos for anybody who is just like me and is curious about how um how this stuff works, how this gameplay works. Uh, I go into Windy Hill here because I thought I was gonna do this, but I decided to do Lost World since that is not only my favorite stage in this game, but it is also a great representation of what's uh, going on here. It also shows off. Uh, it, it's a little, it's a pretty intensive stage, so it's a it's a little better to show off than Windy Hill. Windy Hill is an intensive stage too, but I feel like uh, you know everybody does Windy Hill, so let's do um, Lost World because that's my favorite stage. Uh, um, I don't plan on, you know, maybe I might do commentary for the Sonic Adventure 2 part, I don't know, because I still feel like I'm not done, so I originally, when I first did the voiceover and messed it up, I originally freaking recorded all the way through, so I might just do that again, um, but yeah, like I said, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is guaranteed to pretty much work on here, all Dreamcast games are running no problem, I'm gonna make, uh, GameCube versions of both of these games, so don't worry about that, if you're curious how the GameCube games run on here, uh, the Pal Kitty currently retails. The Pal Kitty, if you want to sponsor me, if any of the Android, I've always been in the Android consoles. You know, back in the day when I was a kid, I saw the GPD XD. And if you're a handheld gamer, and then you, especially if you're a modern day Android handheld gamer, and you know what I'm talking about, you know that GPD XD was so cool. I used to think it was a 3DS because I saw someone playing Super Mario 64 DS, but now I know it's emulus and you know it's a mini hand Android console. Um, it doesn't hold up as well today because it can't really go past Dreamcast, but it is still a nice console to uh, have, and I still want one because I always wanted one when I was a kid, and people used to go so crazy with that. Uh, you know, mods and stuff work well on here. I don't actually know if you can mod Sonic Adventure Dreamcast games on uh, Android. I've never tried, so I can't tell you if those work. I know like Android, uh, like the under anything under DS so when it comes to ROM hack emulation works perfectly. Anything under uh, Wii is pretty much guaranteed to work. Like I said, about 90% of the GameCube library can work, especially if you tweak some of the games. PS2 has about maybe I'd say 50% of the library working on Aether SX2. It works really well, but then others don't. Like SmackDown versus uh, SmackDown versus Raw 2011 doesn't really run that well. I'm gonna do videos on that as well. That doesn't really run well, but like um. Smackdown Here Comes the Pain does run very well on there, so, you know, like, I'm going to be posting more and more Power Kitty videos, like I said, so if you are if you are a handheld gamer and you like traditional handhelds, uh, buy this system for the, you know, the emulation and the Android gameplay. If you're an Android gamer and that's your daily gaming uh, session, a mobile gamer, buy this system because you're going to want to be able to play all those, all those mobile games like COD and all that. I'm gonna go, I die here, so we're about to switch games, but you're gonna want to be able to play COD. As you can see, Sonic Adventure 1 ran flawlessly, no problems at all. It ran perfect, so you know, that was a game. And Sonic Adventure 2 was also gonna run perfect, uh, no frame dips at all, I promise you. Uh, you see the frames go up here because I actually got to me fast forwarder, and so whenever you see the frames go speeding up to 100 and 200 frames a second, that's me fast forwarding through stuff I don't want to see. Just checking to make sure the game is still recording, and we'll get right into it, but um. If you're an Android gamer, you're gonna want the system. If you're a check out the playlist, like I said, of all my Power Kitty videos in the comment pinned comment below. You'll see I've done an unboxing. If you want to see what the console look like, I've done multiple gameplay videos. I've done a tour of everything I've had on my Power Kitty, and uh, that has since changed. But I'm not doing another tour because I don't really. Not a lot of stuff has changed from that video, but um, you know, I'll be doing some Android apps. So if you want to see some Android apps as well. You know, hit me up and I'll, I'll do that as well. I'll do some uh, Android apps for you guys. If you want to see 
just t like I said, just tell me what it is you want to see, and, I, and I've got you guys. You know what I'm saying? I got you guys. I'm gonna be making a pretty soon enough. I'm gonna make a Power Kitty. Uh, I'm gonna make a Call of Duty Mobile video. So I just gotta re-download Call of Duty Mobile. And once I do that, I'll re I'll make a, a video showing off that and how that whole game runs. It'll be very cool. Uh, PUBG. I'm not really a PUBG player, but if you want that, I could do that. I could also do Fortnite. If people want that. I don't like Fortnite, but you know, if people want this stuff, just let me know and I'll show you how these games are, do run on the system because, you know, you can download Fortnite with things like Tap Tap and all that now so, you know, for the, for any, like I'm willing to do anything, like I said, it's no whole bars for the Palak of the X18S videos because when I was trying to research this console, there just was not enough showing off the games I wanted to see on here so, I'm going to be doing, I'm, I'm willing to do all types of stuff for the Palak of the it does not have, it does not apply to the main type of videos so it does not have the golden rule of just say it, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I'll do ROM hacks, I'm gonna probably do Sonic, uh, I'm gonna do Mario 64, I'm gonna do, uh, Sonic and Mario 64, uh, you know, I'm gonna do all types of games, I have planned that I'm already gonna do, like I said, Sunshine, Galaxy, we're gonna do those, I'm gonna show you guys how these games run, so you know what to expect, you know what I'm saying, so you know that when you come on here, this is what you can expect, this is what you're gonna see, this is how things are gonna work, yada, 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 all that extra stuff. So as you can see, like I said, Sonic Adventure 2 is running without a hiccup. It's like literally having no problems as you knew it would. I'm going to do the Wii GameCube versions. I'm going to be pumping out so many of these. I might even pump out two today. So I'm actually recording this the day you're seeing it. But the second one is most likely. So some of these might have commentary. Most of them will not have commentary though. So I'm just going to be posting out no commentary videos on uh, Pal Kitty. On the Pal Kitty X18S. So like I said, if you want to see what the system looks like and all that. And you're curious as to what I mean. Because it might just seem like a normal gameplay. Check the pinned comment for the playlist of all the Pal Kitty videos. And watch the unboxing episode first. You'll see what the system looks like. Uh, there will be a link in the description, there will also be a link in that same pinned comment that will have, uh, that will have, uh, the, the system itself, if you want to buy it directly from Pal Kitty's website, it'll be down there as well, so you can see what the system looks like on there, and, uh, you know, maybe if you want to see more in-depth reviews, you know, you can just look it up, but I'm just showing you how gay different games run on the system. Some are gonna run amazing, some are gonna run good, Dreamcast is no problem, Saturn is almost no problem. Uh, but Saturn my, probably does have a few games that might, I don't know, I've, everything I've thrown at the Saturn works, including games like Burn and Ranger, so, you know, that anything under, like, Dreamcast is pretty much golden, you, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, PSP, no problem, DS, no problem, I'm willing to do all those games, I'm going to be doing more games from those systems, Game Boy Advance, obviously no problem, anything Game Boy, no problem, Genesis, no problem, I'm going to be pumping out videos, okay, might have a second one with no commentary coming today, just because they're so easy to record, and, you know, I'm willing to do many of these, so I can, you know, because, like I said, we're in September now, videos might become a little more scarce for me, so I'm going to have these videos out to help pad out everything I'm trying to do, because I... You know, I just want to help get these out. So I beat the level, no problem. You see the game run, play runs just fine. The audio sounds great. There is no choppy audio or anything. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do Super Mario Sunshine today, actually. It won't have any commentary, but I might do Super Mario Sunshine Power Kitty gameplay as well today. I'm going to be posting some tomorrow. I'm probably going to post some every day, just to be honest with you, beside, alongside normal videos. So, like, Wario Land, the next episode of Wario Land 3 will probably be on Tuesday, and I might post something. I'm uh, probably going to post a Power Kitty video. Um, on normal, on the days with normal videos, I probably won't post one, but, like, I'm not going to be posting these every day every day but I should be doing one every day this week I'm, I'm gonna try and get out more of these videos so for the people who are interested at least for this month the people who are interested in the Power X 18s or Android handhelds in general can just scope out how these games run on here this was recorded 100% on the system itself like I said I'm playing kind of bad here though I died the first time the Bigfoot here because I was like I said playing this on the charger at a weird angle and plus I literally had just opened my eyes and then immediately pressed recording that's like not a joke I literally woke up reached over grabbed my power kitty picked it up pressed the record button and started playing so like I'm literally I'm not even fully up yet I'm not even fully awake I just had to well, I am now. It's way later in the day. In fact, it's like 1.09 p.m. at this time. But like, when I was recording this, it was way... I had just woke up, so, you know, it's... it's That's what, that's why it's getting... But we're getting close to the end of this video, so... You know, I think uh, I'm gonna end this commentary video here. Like I said, this commentary section here. And let you just enjoy the rest of this with the outro. Um, so, yeah, thank you for tuning into this. Uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Again, down in the pinned comment, there'll be a section for you to buy the system if you want to buy one. And there'll also be a link to my playlist of every single video I have done in order of release date. Every single video I've done of the Power Kitty, including the unboxing, the complete tour guide of everything I have on the system, the, uh, the, all the things like that. I have Lineage OS on mine, but I talked about that in the, uh, tour guide video. Check out those videos if you're interested in more gameplay. Uh, I've done the one on Sonic Colors. I'm gonna do more of these. There might be a second one today, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But, you know, either way, if you're new here, if you could subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're trying to reach 400 subscribers. It'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share these videos with your friends and become a super slayer. I've been the one and only World School Second Enthusiast, Second Slayer 64. And until next time, make sure to have a great day, great night, or great anytime. Have a good one, Slayers, and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, yeah, bye. Hey guy, take care. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control!